Yo, what's up? Name is Jetly01, and welcome back to more YouTuber the mini series, series thingy, whatever, where I tell you how to do a little better at YouTube so you can have more fun with the thing. Now, this is another edition in the O2 type series, which is about things you can do with your channel. We've already gone over managing the channel and keeping it unified. Now, this is what you need to be doing with the channel. No, not how you decorate it. No, not how you keep things together, but what you actually can do with the information of your channel. Because channels, while not as important as they once were, they're still there and they still are pretty much your base of operations. They are where people can find everything you've got. And that's pretty important to take care of and get out there. So, first and most important thing you need to be doing with your channel is you need to get it out there. I already made a video on getting yourself out there, but there are some ways beyond the ones that I thought about that you need to be considering. For example, on Twitter, all the time, anytime, if anybody has the nerve to dare and say that they're bored, they're going to get a link to my channel. Anyone says anything related to it, or that's relevant that I could put my channel in there, I will do that. That may seem annoying, but it works. You need to be able to get yourself out there in relevant situations. Now, don't be spamming it, just like I said in the Get Yourself Out There video. Don't spam. Like, don't ever spam, but if it's relevant, and you can be like, hey, I do this too, or hey, this, hey, that, then you might as well set yourself out there, because what's the point in having a giant page that links to all of your videos if nobody's going to find it? Okay, a second thing that you can do with your channels, or your channel, is, well, this is actually, this video is not going in the direction I wanted to. This is what I get for trying to watch pro game live streams of esports while making videos, but I'll go ahead and go off on the tangent anyways. This is still channel actions, but first thing up is get it out there. Second thing is you can use your channel to network with others. Yeah, I'm just going to mix in all the other stuff in, but how it re relevantly applies to channels. So for networking... If you're, for example, on a group channel and it's a small enough group channel, you can get yourself into the little related channels box. I've got my friends in the related channel box, and well, they don't have me in their channel box. It's kind of annoying. I need to work on that, but still, you can have you and your friends put each other in the channel boxes, and then that will take them to the channel, and that's every video you've got. And just for sheer shock factor, if you have a lot of videos like I do then that's just going to be like, whoa, this guy's got a lot of videos, let's go check that out. And lucky start here, up in your face, shotgun, eat it. Man, I love this game, but yeah. You can go network with other people, and that's one, that's a pretty important thing you can do with your channel. Another thing you can do with your channel is keep it as, like I said, a base of operations. For example, if you've got a lot of series, go ahead and point out in the description, hey, check out the channel for more series, later like that, but put it in the description preferably in the show more information tab like you have to hit the show more information button because if you put it in the video that's pretty annoying I don't like it when people are like go check the channel like for example with Sonic Adventure I had on the buttons for Sonic Adventure I just had my channel and it was just the picture it didn't say go here go look at this so don't be obnoxious about what you do with your channel either that's another important thing it doesn't matter how much you get out there how many people you're networked with how much you direct back to it and use it to keep people going to other stuff with lines like, hey, if you like this, come look here for more of this. That pretty much just summed up, summed up everything I was trying to say in the last minute. But if you're too obnoxious with it, you're going to be going nowhere. You're going to be going to places my enemies are going in these videos. Or these videos? This video where I'm sitting there owning everybody in Custom Robo. Look at this. Shotgun. Pod. And it should have been a bomb follow-up there. Yeah. That's where you're going to be going. You're going to be going down if you're obnoxious with it. Because everyone else is going to be using the shotgun on you if you get too obnoxious. Primary ex oh, well, I'm not going to drop names on what not to do. That's just harsh. But what to do? I can't really give any examples of that either. But, yeah, don't be obnoxious about whatever you do. You need to do things with your channel, but you don't want to be obnoxious about it. And I'm already out of stuff to say, so 
Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to cut the gameplay short. Sorry this wasn't a very good episode, but I'm not good at post-commentary. You might want to consider practicing that as well. Consider that a little tip off the topic, but yeah. Just do stuff with your channel. Make sure that you actually use your channel. Link it to other people. Link it with other people. Link, it, link stuff back to your channel. And that's pretty much all there is to it but just make sure that you actually use your channel if you aren't going to be actually using it there's not a point to really have one now is there so yeah this has been gently one and i'll see you next time